Hey, Rich Issue Money Maniacs, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the Hertz Phenomenon Part 2. Let's go. Hey, Rich Issue Money Maniacs, welcome back. Tom coming at you. I'm very excited to give you this part two to the Hertz phenomenon, phenomenon that has been happening. Phenomenon. Dee, 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 dee. Phenomenon. <laughs> so thank you to the Muppet Show for that. So Hertz had filed for bankruptcy and then continued selling their shares. Now I already did a video on this. If you haven't seen that already, make sure you go back and watch that one first. Because what this video about is about is exactly what I said in the first video. That is illegal. Even Hertz was telling investors, these shares that you're buying will be worthless. Why? Because they were in bankruptcy, which means any dollar that comes into the company goes to the creditors. And guess what? The reason they're bankrupt is because they owe their creditors more than the money that's coming in. So as an investor, you're basically handing your money to Hertz and Hertz is going, gosh, thanks. Here, creditor. Okay, thanks for being so generous. Um, you're not gonna get anything back for that, of course, because now they're gonna strip us down and sell off parts to try and make the rest of the money that we owe them. See, that's the thing about bankruptcy. <laughs> Usually, People don't want anything to do with a company that claims bankruptcy because they understand poor leadership, poor decision making, bad finances, bad products maybe even. Don't go near them. Don't invest in them because in the future you will lose your money, right? Not while they're in bankruptcy. We're talking about before bankruptcy even. If they say they're going to, if any of the word bankruptcy ever comes up, price the price of stocks usually plummets. The world we live in right now is completely insane. There is no norm, no standard because the Federal Reserve via BlackRock is actually propping up the market to make it look like it's still functioning at all. And the fact of the matter is it is not functioning. It is completely manipulated, it is completely cronyism, and it's ripping everybody off left, right, and center to the tune that it's in the news as major headlines and yet still they get away with doing it. Now, here's the part two. The part two is that, oh, all of a sudden the SEC has decided to review their application to continue selling stocks. Hertz actually asked to be able to continue doing it. Well, of course they would because the creditors now run the company and the creditors are thinking, well, if investors are stupid enough to invest in a bankrupt company, well then fine, let's sell them the shares. They're not going to get anything back because they'll be worthless. We've told them that it'll be worthless, but okay, if they want to give us their money, that's fine. You know, this is exactly the same challenge that caused the indexed fund, the, the, the subprime mortgage challenge in, in 2008. Nobody was doing their research. Now we're having the same kind of bubble with index funds. They're bursting because no one is checking what kind of companies are in those funds. They only look at how much money the fund makes. This, this is exactly the challenge with the investment world right now. Everybody's lazy. You're just so lazy. I just want to click a button and, oh, this stock is going up. Oh, this stock's in the news. Hertz is in the news. That means more people will invest in them. I'm going to invest in them too. Completely illogical. They didn't read the headline. It says they're bankrupt. Their stock has no value. Oh, well, now everybody's lost their money to Hertz. And guess what's starting to pop up in the news now? Oh, investors are filing lawsuits. Well, that's not fair. I invested in Hertz and they took my money. They told you it was going to be valueless, you dork. Now the SEC is stepping in. There are two articles listed down below in the, in the description. Make sure you go and you read them. And then follow this very closely. <laughs> this is a really good example of how insane it has become. Corporations, government departments, the Federal Reserve, everybody with any kind of power, even the governors with these lockdowns and the cities and counties, everybody is power hungry and they are pushing the limit on what's legal and what's not 
every single day. In fact, it's become so normal for them to break the law and not be held accountable that they just feel free to do it every single day. That's the insanity of what's occurring. When you see it brazenly advertised in the, the headlines by media that should know better and should list it as being illegal, illegal and advising people to steer away from it. Instead, the media is bringing attention to it because they know that will draw more people into the market. It's absolute insanity. You must learn to think for yourself. You must learn to do research. You must learn to find credible sources of information. So this is Hertz part two, just like I predicted. It is illegal to sell stocks for a bankrupt company. And now the SEC is finally getting involved and they didn't even do it in writing. Read the article. They just verbally, orally let them know we're going to review what you're doing. We're going to review how you spoke to the investors, very specific parts, almost as if they were kind of considering it, except it's illegal. And maybe people started getting pissed off that they would even consider it. So now they're trying to backpedal gently. And well, you know, we said you might be able to do this, but uh, it might cost us our job or maybe even create jail time for certain people. So there you go. Yes. I'm very passionate about that because I'm not fond of good, hardworking people being separated from their money for just being stupid. It's one thing to just not do your homework. It's another to be misled by the media and not have the very agency, the SEC, who's supposed to protect people from that type of thing, not do anything until it's headline news too late. They already got a whole bunch of money and they're probably not going to give it back. So there you go. I hope that this was helpful. Please do your homework before you invest in anything. And if a company marks themselves as bankrupt, stay away. Stay away. All right. So there you go. Richest you money maniacs. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, definitely give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to be able to share more videos with you in the future. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.